Hello, happy Sunday, happy spooky season. It's that time of the year where we jump into the thrift store and hold a costume contest. And my competition today, back by popular demand. <laughs> Hello everyone. <laughs> it's Jonathan. If you saw Jonathan and I compete in the scavenger hunt thrift store video, this is a fierce Earlier competitor. And you know me, Halloween is my favorite season. Jonathan. I am a big Halloween fan. We are gonna get in the fitting room at the end and style up these costumes that we come up with. Here are the three categories of costumes. Number one, Stranger Things. Number two, Tim Burton. Yep. And this is like a general Tim Burton, not necessarily a specific character. Yep. And number three, maybe my favorite, Golden Girls. The Golden Girls. <laughs> that one's gonna be a lot of fun. Yeah. The women's style section is always larger than the men's at any thrift store, and that's the case here. So Jonathan's got his work cut out for him, yep. but I know he's gonna do awesome, and we're gonna have a lot of fun with it. So yep. Here we go. Let's get it. All right, as far as these categories, I think that these all could be very doable. We've got Tim Burton. That's a classic. Some of us already came to the thrift store dressed like a Tim Burton character, so. Stranger Things, kind of the more retro, like on the nose, the better. And the Golden Girls, I that one I think is gonna be so fun. You could go like the Sophia Rose, like more casual, comfy, really cutesy, or you could be a little bit glammed up, like a Blanche. So we'll see what we find. Believe it or not, my strategy, I think I'm gonna start in the shoe section because shoes are gonna be one of the most limiting things about this costume. So I wanna see if I can find uh, at least a couple different pairs of shoes that are gonna work for these costumes. Look at these little kind of Ked sneakers. Those could either be a Stranger Things look or they could be like a casual Golden Girls look. So if these are my size, I'll probably throw them in the cart. Okay, not my size, but we've got these floral ones. Nancy Wheeler? Ooh, some damage though. Ooh, that could be Tim Burton-esque, I think, with the little like frilly detail on there. Those could even go for a Tim Burton look, possibly. I feel like I want something a bit funkier, but those might be a good backup for now. I just walked by the bags and I had to reach over and snatch this off of the shelf so fast. It's so fun in 80s, like that looks like very gem in the holograms. <laughs> Going good so far. Maybe I'll go take a look at the rest of the bags while I'm over here. Kinda lump this like just for every day. <laughs> this could be a fun Golden Girls bag. Oh, if there like is not a cough drop in here, I, I would be shocked. Ooh, this like shiny vinyl one feels very Tim Burton. Starting in the accessories was harder than I thought um, because I'm sort of playing two sides of each of my looks. Like I could go with the Golden Girls, I could go like very glam and blanche or I could go very soft and like Sophia and Rose. And then with Stranger Things, I could go with like, you know, one of the like more girly characters or I could go like grungy like Eddie. So like too many things in my cart already. <laughs> Let's check in with Jonathan and see how he's doing. I am in the men's section. I'm really gonna try and get as much men's wear for my costumes um, as I can. It'll be a little easier for them to style them uh, on me. Um, if not, I'm actually gonna be probably using minor as my model if I can't find stuff in the men's section that I really want for my costume. So that's my strategy um, at first. So Stranger Things, my go-to is an 80s vibe. I'm specifically kind of drawn to Dustin's look. I think I'll be able to find clothes to really pull that off. 
for Tim Burton. Um, I actually dressed as Jack Skellington many years ago. I was still in college, I believe. Tim Burton has such a wide range of characters. Um, my look I think I'm going for today, I'm gonna try and pull off a Sweeney Todd. We'll see what I can find here in the men's section. I've got some ideas of the what clothes I'm looking for, but we'll see. If I find something else that fits, like purple suit, Willy Wonka vibe, or Mad Hatter feel, I'll go with those, but I am leaning more towards um, Sweeney Todd. I don't know which part of this challenge will be the most difficult for me. In my mind, I'm thinking Golden Girls, because I don't know that I'm gonna find something to model. If I do, I will definitely model it. If not, I'll find something for minor to model. That also might be the easiest. I mean, I'm finding the oldest looking granny wearing dress that I can and trying to dress as if I'm trying to buy clothes for my grandmother. So I don't know, we'll see what the hardest part of this challenge will be as the day goes on. All right, so for my Stranger Things, I'm really getting a Dustin vibe is what I'm trying to go for. And I made a beeline for the hats. Um, kind of feeling both of these. Um, I don't know what the rest of the costume is gonna look like but uh, I'm gonna grab both of these and use which one works better. All right, I'm here in the t-shirt sections to look for something for my Dustin outfit and I immediately saw this. Definitely could be an 80s vibe. I could definitely see Dustin. And so I'm gonna keep that, but then I also, I'm really liking this shirt. <laughs> this has some very Dustin vibes to it so I think I'm gonna put them both in here because I'm not sure what I'm gonna use right now. I'm looking for shoes next and I'm really not seeing a lot of shoes that are screaming 80s or something that Dustin might wear so I'm gonna keep looking. I don't really have a lot of options but I'm gonna look really hard. Alrighty I am just a few minutes in and I have already gotten most of my Dustin outfit together, feeling really good about it. And then I walked by backpacks and I am really liking this as an accessory look for my costume. Dustin always has a backpack. When does he not? He's always prepared, so yeah, really liking this. I'm thinking maybe I should go to the dresses because if I find a dress or like jumpsuit, that could be a one and done thing for the outfit and then I could start pulling these looks together. This is like a neon paint splatter type of dress. That could be made very 80s and like Stranger Things style, but I'm just not loving it quite yet, but we're getting warmer. I wonder if these overalls could work maybe for like an L or Max type of Stranger Things look. You could make them very 80s. Ooh, okay, this like a mesh jumpsuit. Hmm. That's a great one. This honestly is also fitting like the fall trends that we did in one of my last videos. <laughs> so I am surprised that I'm not seeing more looks that I, or like dresses that I think could work for the Golden Girls. I thought that's what I would find right away. Ooh, here's a great vintage 80s dress. I don't think that would fit me though. It looks like it's a bit small for me. Yeah. Oh, here we go. So now I'm finding a lot of good Golden Girls dresses, but this is not my size. Like this is the wrong section, so. This dress, this looks like handmade and like not the best quality fabric, but for a costume, like maybe a Golden Girls look? It has a little belt too. I have no idea if that would fit, but uh, that could work. Wait, this bag with that? Actually, I'm kind of seeing that. Hmm. Ooh, this faux leather dress, very Tim Burton. Uh, oh my gosh, it's tagged a plus size too, holy cow. Wow, okay, this is a great find. Let's try it. Woohoo, coming for you, Jonathan. I don't think he's gonna be able to top that for a Tim Burton look. So I just spent a bunch of time going through these dresses behind me, looking for my Golden Girls 
um, outfit. First, let me say I am solely going off of internet pictures. I have never watched a single episode of The Golden Girls in my entire life. Uh, I know who they are. I know some of the people that play in them. I know a lot of people love it and there's a big fan base, but just not been my show, not something my grandparents or anyone watched, at least while I was around. And I was hoping to find something that would scream Golden Girls and I think I found it. It's one piece. I'm really hoping that it fits me because I would like to be the one to model it instead of minor, but we'll see. But yeah, definitely found the piece that I was looking for. To top off the dress that I just found for the Golden Girls theme outfit, I also just found some shoes that will definitely work for this outfit. And they fit my feet, so fingers crossed that that dress will fit on me so that I can pull off this outfit. Wish me luck. Uh, one of the staff just asked me if it was my first time here and I had to laugh. <laughs> Not at him, but just because you guys already know, I live here. <laughs> I live at the thrift store. <gasps> oh, look at that. It's getting ugly already. You got a full cart. You do have a pretty full cart. Mine's, yeah, I think we're looking like pretty even there. How are you feeling? Good. I made some changes mm -hmm. to some of my original ideas, but I've got some stuff that is working and I feel confident. Uh, I'm like kind of two out of three though. How about you? Uh, I'd say two out of three. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Cool. Sounds good. Good luck, Jonathan. Yeah. I'm here in the dress shirts looking for a shirt for my Sweeney Todd. And this is what I'm thinking. Um, so this could be an option, but just like a different white shirt could be an option. We'll put them in our cart and uh, see what we find later. Okay, I have found a shirt that might work for my Sweeney Todd look. And I'm going to slip on the vest real quick. Ooh. I really like this vest so far though. It actually fits me really, really well. I don't know. I'm here for this look. I am really liking this. I think we're gonna keep this as an option for sure. I am thinking with this shirt, this shirt's gonna really warrant a bow tie um, instead of a regular long tie. I don't know what my chances are of finding um, bow tie here that's gonna look good for Sweeney Todd so we'll see okay I just found another potential for my Sweeney Todd look and again I really <laughs> I really like this blue vest I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna end up buying it but I think this will look good with either a normal tie or honestly potentially like an ascot something that's kind of billowy I think would look really good here. So we're definitely gonna put this in our cart. All right, looking for black dress pants for my Sweeney Todd outfit. And uh, I'm sure they're gonna have something right here in this medium section. And what do you know? Black dress pants, medium, perfect. Easy enough. Remember when I said I probably wouldn't find bow ties here? I did. This is not the color scheme that I want for Sweeney Todd, but I did find it. I'm going to pilfer through all of these ties and see if we can find something that will look good with my Sweeney Todd look that I am envisioning. These are the kind of the two different looks that I'm looking for for my Sweeney Todd. I definitely want the best. But I've got this gray shirt, I've got this striped shirt with the white collar. I think the gold tie with those looks okay. It's a little odd to have together, but for Tim Burton, I think it works. Not sure if I don't, if I want a tie yet. I may end up going with an ascot instead, but we'll see. All right, I am feeling pretty good. I'm gonna sweep through, look for some accessories, some type of handbag and some granny glasses for my 
Golden Girls outfit and then looking for something that might resemble uh, a straight razor for my Sweeney Todd outfit. But other than that, feeling pretty good about my cart. All right, so we're in the tops. I need a top to go with my Stranger Things look and I have a pair of overalls for that. So I don't know, I'm thinking like something bright and colorful, uh, something it's gotta look very 80s to me. So we'll see. This is the type of thing I was picturing for like a casual Sophia Golden Girls uh, top, like one of those cozy button up like sweatshirt cardigans with some like lounge pants. I think if I had like a Nancy Wheeler look with like a pencil skirt, that would be a really good top. I kind of like this because this like bold yellow, like oversized tee is very playful and like youthful to me. But um, I don't know, I think I've got a couple of better options. I just overheard some uh, young ladies shopping for their Halloween costumes in the thrift store and they pulled this and said, hey, we could do Where's Waldo? And I love that, but it's like they didn't quite go for it. <laughs> Stop. This is some cute granny core. <gasps> no, look at this. That is so sweet. This is fun, is that something? Do we think that that is a good like 80s top? Maybe I need to look up a Stranger Things like image, <laughs> get more specific. Okay, so Elle has this look where she's wearing suspenders, but I'm just gonna interpret that through like overalls because I think it still works enough. But I might need to like make sure my accessories are really on point to sell this. Oh my God, I think this is like a really good one. Yo, I almost bought this top the other day when I was in here last and he saw it in my fall fashion video. I pointed it out, not that it was a fall piece, but just that I liked it. That could be a good 80s like Stranger Things one. I like that it's super colorful. See if that one ends up working out, that'd be funny. And I guess good thing I didn't buy it. <laughs> Still here. All right, so I was successful in finding some accessories. I was able to find some granny glasses. Not sure which ones I'm gonna use. Kinda, it's gonna depend on which one looks better with my outfit, but super, <laughs> super happy with them. I also picked up some accessories for my Sweeney Todd. I'm gonna tuck this in a pocket just to give the lower part of the costume some uh, pizzazz. And then since he's a barber, I couldn't find razors, but I did find some knives and I'll use those as my razors. All right, not sure where I'm gonna find an actual ascot, so I've come over here to like linens, there's pillowcases, and I did find this. And unless I find something better, we're gonna go with this. So I found some accessories for my Dustin Stranger Things outfit. You never know when you might need knee pads or, you know, some goggles to protect your peepers. I think it's fun to like think outside the box on Halloween accessories and look in the housewares department, look in the toy section, because if you can find something you can like carry with you that could complete the costume, like all the better. If I found something with like Eggo waffles on it that Eleven could carry, that'd be good. Maybe like a creepy doll or stuffed animal that could go with like a Tim Burton sort of vibe. I don't know, I'm just gonna look and see what inspires me. <laughs> but don't sleep on the houseware section. Okay, so I'm looking at the toys too. Kind of looking for something like kind of creepy. Maybe like this. Is that a badger? Uh, something like dark. 
Tiger. Oh, Toy Story. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe they actually like screen the toys here so that they don't have scary stuff because I didn't see any of the creepy possessed dolls. <laughs> Just a thrift store staple. Okay, in the kids section I did see this little tool thing. Like, imagine wearing that as a waist belt. Could that be like a Tim Burton vibe? I don't know, maybe. Ooh, I also found this little fedora. That's a good one. I just had a really, maybe really good idea. What if I did roller skates with my 11 look? That would be like a trump card, right? I'm gonna hurt myself in this Goodwill today. <laughs> Thought some prayers for me falling on my butt on roller skates. Better get a helmet too. <laughs> All right, I'm looking for costume jewelry, which I have not found here. I was looking for some clip-on earrings, that, you know, something our grannies would wear, but I didn't see anything. I'm gonna sweep through one more time. Maybe they don't have a jewelry section, but uh, I'm gonna sweep through, to see if I can find some clip-on earrings. At this point, my looks are coming together really clearly. I'm down to accessories and I, have to go back to the shoes because I know I have the wrong shoes for my Golden Girls outfit um, and for my Tim Burton outfit. So we guys kind of start back at the beginning and finish up these looks, but wish me luck. Okay, so I picked up that pillowcase earlier um, to have as my ascot for my Sweeney Todd. And I think I have found something better. I found this orange scarf that I think could maybe be tucked. But I also found this, and I think this is gonna be even better. Handkerchief, much smaller, can easier stuff and hopefully look pretty good up here. So pretty sure I'm gonna go with this. I'm gonna try the tie on. I'm either gonna do the tie or the scarf. Not sure, I'll know once I'm in the dressing room. All right, let's get in the fitting room. Yeah. See how it goes. All right, I'm in the fitting room first. Here's all my stuff and my accessories. I'm gonna start with my Tim Burton look first. Ah, I really just hope everything fits and comes together. This is really good, you guys. I'm really proud of this one. I think Jonathan's gonna have a tough time beating it. All right, let's go do the reveal. All right, here we go, Tim Burton. Okay. So, I like the addition of the red tool this around is, the waist, like gives it some pop of color. This is a hero piece for yep. sure. I, it, I debated I could wear it over the top of this too, mm -hmm. but yeah, it's pretty okay. amazing. Huh? All right, that's a pretty good outfit. Okay. <laughs> okay, waiting for Jonathan to come oh, out man. with his first look. I know it's gonna be good. He seriously is really, really good at Halloween. Costume, so yeah. give us the reveal. Oh, ooh, the gloves! You have butter knife. <laughs> wow, may I admire you? <laughs> He's so pleased with himself, too. Look at that. Then the butter knives, like, I'm I'm actually deceased just seeing them. That is just truly terrifying. Wow, the detail, so good. With this little ascot, that's very nice. Yeah. Very nice, Jonathan. The vest will probably be coming home with me. Oh, amazing. I, I like the vest, so. Love it for you. Yeah. Good. Next look. Next look. Oh. It's so fail. The dress doesn't fit around my hips. So imagine this all the way down. It's supposed to be like a midi lane. Okay. I have a, just a uh, a smart but. Sensi 
sensible shoe, smart but sensible shoe, and a cute little glam bag. Okay. Love the pastel vibes, but yeah, this is a fail, it didn't fit, so I just threw on my skirt that I had because it was the only other <laughs> decent thing to cover me up. So. Well, here's hoping uh, my uh, Golden Girls outfit fits me then, too. <laughs> I can't wait to see your outfit. <laughs> just found the perfect Golden Girls hat, like, after the fact. Look. Yes. Should we give it to Jonathan? <laughs> Sneak peek at the heels that are coming on. <laughs> Alright, first up we're going to do some Golden Girls, got our outfit here. <laughs> there we go. This is going to be epic. This is going to be so epic. I can't wait. Golden Girls. Alright, Dorothy. Or Blanche. Or Rose. No! Is that not the greatest? It is the greatest Golden Girls look ever. Like, you literally just need the curly wig. They hate the glasses! Here, we found this. We found a hat, though, for you. There. Holy cow. Yeah, shoes fit. No, no one should be allowed to be this golden. You absolutely need, like, high five. I love it, Jonathan. I felt pretty good about this one, so. You nailed it. Yeah, it felt pretty good. Oh, amazing. <laughs> next look, next look. And Jonathan forgot he had another accessory. Yep. I this, my purse. this cute bag. But also. <laughs> Reminder did you be the dog? <laughs> it's like, it'd only be better if you had like a pill divider. <laughs> That's what I thought it was when I picked it up. Oh my I was God. like, well, whatever. You're too good at this. <laughs> okay. This is probably my favorite one out of the three. I saved it for last. Yeah. It's my favorite too. Uh, I feel like it kind of nails it. A little bit uh, of a leaven vibe. Yep. And I really wanted to make the skates work. They wouldn't fit, but this is a great thing. You can just like carry it around. I just got to do the move, right? The leather <laughs> That's what I'm going to do to Jonathan with this costume contest. <laughs> Love it. Well, it's safe to say Jonathan is crushing it, so I'm excited to see this last look. Here is his Stranger Things look. Oh my god, you're adorable. <laughs> this is a very Dustin, yes. you know, Shirt. Yeah, the it's, it's got the van and everything. Yeah. Like, I, that's like the pizza delivery van, like by. And you know, Dustin, he never goes anywhere without being prepared. Knee pads. Oh. You never know. You might have to protect your eyeballs, and if you have to survive out in the wild, you got to be ready for the bugs, the mushrooms, all of it. <laughs> Dustin, always prepared. <laughs> Oh my god, you did not go shop in the book section too. I, I can't believe you. Dustin's always prepared. <laughs> He's got everything. Good job. Let me, let me do one more head to toe. Very good. Very well done, Jonathan. I mean, Dustin. Friends don't lie, and I can't lie. Jonathan killed it today. Absolutely amazing all these looks. Uh, like, oh, you're the Halloween so champ. Fun. Hey, I think our best advice from today is don't be afraid to shop outside of the clothing section and outside the accessories. Some of my best pieces I found in the kids section, you went into like the housewares and the books to get your accessories and it kind of just like flushes out those looks and yeah. makes it so fun. Your accessories are always gonna make that costume pop and stand out. Absolutely. Well, that was it for our costume contest for this year. Oh my gosh, so much fun. I love these. <laughs> I loved these. We were already we're already brainstorming about how we can translate this again into another video, maybe outside of Halloween, so we don't have to wait a whole other year. Yeah. But as far as this one goes, you all be the judge of who you think won for each of these costumes. Let, let us, us know what you think about each of the outfits. Yeah, let us know your favorites. Um, let us know what you were planning to dress up as for Halloween, if you're gonna do 
something like that. Um, thank you, Jonathan, so much for being Always. with us again. It is so fun to have you here. We all love you and love seeing your costumes. So, from us here at the Goodwill, happy Halloween. Happy Halloween.